Hello Taurus, this is your January 2019 reading. It will not resonate with all Taurus, but I want to, you know, try to get as many of you as possible. But this is for Taurus, Full Celtic Cross, January 2019. Taurus, January 2019, Full Celtic Cross for the general population. General energies that are coming in for Taurus. I do meditate on your sign before I even start because I try to pick up your vibrations, at least for the cards. Let's see what the beginning energy is. Change coming in. You're feeling that change is not happening quick enough or you may have, some of you may have dropped the ball on something, feeling like you couldn't carry a heavy load or a, a situation that was um, cumbersome to you. It was it was almost like a burden, almost like the burden card, but it's not. It's someone who just drops it before it becomes a burden, something. So it's also someone could be fear and change. But let's see what's going on here. Subject at hand, you got the Knight of Wands. So you're dealing with a possible fire sign. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone acting like this. They're more like very passionate and they're very energetic and they come in and out and they're, they're not um, I don't call this exactly someone that's like a commitment card here they're more or less very busy and like I said energetic and they're they're never they're never settling down they're just constantly moving was crossing it themselves or another fire sign they could be just you know working against themselves I'm, I'm feeling this for a lot of you that whatever you're dealing with is actually going against themselves with their messages. Their messages come across are kind of abrupt and they and, and they come out wrong and kind of like maybe a little overzealous. But that's the Prince of Wands uh, crossing it. So I'm thinking possibly sometimes with this someone's their own worst enemy or their uh, own life is getting in their way and they're trying to work it out. Your goal is to keep things on the down low, not let everybody know your situation. It, for some of you, that is. And for others, it could be that you're trying to find out something that may be hidden. You may be thinking that somebody is doing you wrong, and you're trying to uncover this. You're trying to figure it out, what it is that is occurring. Foundation, possibly a passionate new beginning. Maybe someone's offering this or you're wanting this. But it's there and it's in the upright. It's the foundation. I will clarify these. In the past, you didn't feel like you got your happily ever after situation. You got the Ten of Cups in reverse. You didn't get, you know, where you want to be with somebody and you think it's going to work out forever. In the past, it probably didn't work out. Something didn't work out anyway. Near future... Your desires are kind of diminished, even though I see a passionate new offer. You may not be feeling it right now, or whoever's around you may not be feeling it right now. I'm going to have to move these over a little bit. And we'll put four more out that are more like for the distant future, but I want to clarify these first before I overturn these, find out what's going on. But we got the near future, and we also got the distant future, because there are two different situations, outcomes, actually almost three. I believe in manifesting, so all this could occur. You can manifest what you want. This is just showing you your path at hand and how you can deal with it. Now we got the Knight of Wands as a subject at hand. What's crossing it is the Prince of Wands, Princess of Wands. Now the Princess of Wands is so many things, but it's crossing, like I said, the Knight of Wands. Princess of Wands, like I said, uh, like I said, it could be abrupt speech or messages that are abrupt and uh, seem to come out wrong out of somebody's mouth. Night, oops, someone's come out. I'm gonna put it out there. Someone doesn't want to fight, but it seems like no matter what they say, it kind of like comes out wrong and is perceived wrong by others around them. And but in reality, this person's not trying to pick a fight or, you know, have strife with you or those around you. Or you may not want to be fighting with this person with the Five of Wands. <clears throat> Can I get another card for the 
Knight of Wands and the Princess of Wands and the Five of Wands in reverse. A lot of fire energy here or there, Taurus. If someone needs to make a final decision, that may be stated that, you know, you need to calm your ways or I may be doing something else because I don't want to argue with you. And this could be, like I said, vice versa, someone that's saying this to Taurus and Taurus may be feeling this. But there will be a, uh, someone's trying to make a final decision on something. Now the goal, I got the Seven of Swords and I have so many things. But usually is someone uh, trying to keep things a secret and get by with something sometimes. Or they just don't want everybody knowing what they're up to. Now for some of you, Taurus, you could be doing this in January, just not letting everybody know what you're doing. And people are going to be suspicious of you because of this. Or it could be for others... You know, other Taurus individuals that you're trying to uncover sneaky behavior. Now, Seven of Swords in the upright. Why are you there? Taking control. So you may be trying to uncover something. Some of you. Trying to make a decision what to do with it. But this behavior that's going on around you is possibly sneaky. Can I get another card? The Seven of Swords and the Two of Wands for Taurus. Trying to, you're trying not to worry about it with the Five of Pentacles. You're trying to, you're trying to think, um, I'm not going to let this get to me because that's the Five of Pentacles, like I said, in reverse. Whatever this behavior that is going on around me, whether I'm trying to keep things under wraps or I'm trying to figure out if somebody else is doing something they shouldn't be doing. You leave it in the comments, it'll be different for a lot of you. Because I'm reading for the masses. Now we got the Ace of Wands as a foundation. Let's find out what that's about. Ace of Wands, why are you there for Taurus? Hmm. Passionate new offer can involve the Queen of Swords. A Queen of Swords can be an air sign. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. They are in the upright. Could be this person may be offering it to you or you them. Can I get another card for the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Swords? Yeah, someone's trying to really put on the moves with the Magician in the upright. They know what they're doing. They're very suave. They know how to manifest things. And this person may be trying to offer you something. But I feel like there's other people in your life. There's somebody else in your life, and I think that's where the final decision is going to have to come in. Some of you, very few of you, may be thinking, keeping it under wraps that you may be accepting this offer, maybe. But you're wor you may be not wanting to worry about it and not do it. For others, someone may be doing this to you. Where they're thinking about someone's dealing them a passion offer, they're dealing someone else a passionate offer. And they're, they're trying to make a final decision with you. But I'm reading this for Taurus, so I'm going to say this is you doing this because it's too difficult to go back and forth like that. But I do see a passionate offer with a possible air sign or someone acting like them that is suave and sophisticated and knows how to put on the moves with the magician in the upright. They know how to work it. In the past, you got the Ten of Cups in reverse. Didn't feel like you got your happily ever after. You weren't totally satisfied with your life, whether financially, um, more or less more emotionally, with the cups energy. But the Ten of Cups in reverse, why are you there for Taurus in January? You know, you're trying to move on from troubled waters. You're wanting your happiness, and you're, you're aiming for that. You're, you're going that way, but it just didn't happen in the past. But you were trying for it. Can I get another card? For the Ten of Cups and the Six of Swords. Could it evolve with the Princess of Cups? The Princess of Cups can be a water sign. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Like I said, someone that acting that way. It also could be sometimes a messenger of some sort to me with the Princess of Cups. Someone giving an emotional message or feeling emotional. And therefore, they want to move on from troubled waters because in the past, you know, the happily ever after did not occur. Now, in the near future, you got the lust card. It's in reverse. Your desires may not be 100% wanting to put yourself out there yet. 
It could be that someone is really going to put on the moves and they're going to put everything they have into it. But you still may say, I'm just not interested right now. I don't feel up to it. But the lust card in reverse, why are you there? Could be that you're thinking about somebody else too. I got two cards wanting to pop out and we'll let it. It has to do with a lover. And you may not feel like this person is what you're wanting right now. You may not trust their situation. I have this person in the app right here. But near future, you may not trust this person as a lover right now. And you may turn it away at first. Now, it's just the very near future. They may put themselves out there, like I said. But you may be saying, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm up for this lover situation because you may just end up stabbing me or, or in the back or betraying me or no, I don't take you seriously, I should say, with the Knight of Swords, which is an air energy. Again, air, air. So you may not be accepting this offer right away, even though it's very much going to be there in January. You may be like putting, the, you know, the stop to it, you know, putting your hand out and saying, no, not right now. It's not, I don't think it's a forever energy. I just don't feel like you're up to it. Or maybe some of you will be. Maybe you're just going to put it on the down low with the Seven of Swords, not, you know, push it forward so quickly <clears throat> right away. Now, possible future outcome or the advice from the universe, Queen of Cups, keep your emotions under check. This is usually a water sign sometimes. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it's also energies that you can take upon yourself. The Queen of Cups is someone who, um, they're emotional, but in a positive way. They offer a lot of uh, uh, guidance and advice, and they're there for you when you need a shoulder to cry on. So for some of you, this could be a friend that's there. Go to your friends, those that give emotional support. It also could be the universe telling you to keep your emotions in check and realize that you can do this. You can keep things under control. So the Queen of Cups in the upright, why are you there for Taurus? Yeah, keep things balanced with the art card. It's telling you to keep your emotions checked. Some of you, you can rely on some friends. If you know a friend that's like this, talk to them if you need to. Maybe get some advice. But also the art card is keeping balance. Keep yourself balanced. Can I get another card for the Queen of Cups and the art card? Both in the upright. Yeah, and move forward with the chariot. Not bad. Good advice from the universe or the possible future outcome. This could be your outcome. What's coming towards you? Got some righteous people coming towards you. Or person. Queen of Disc. Now, I would say this is you, but it's the outside environment. So maybe another Taurus could be a Capricorn, Virgo. But I like the Queen of Disc in the upright, the Earth energy. They're one of the best cards in the deck as far as I'm concerned for someone who has a really good head on his shoulders. Um, they are the good mother. They are someone the community looks up to and they're able to uh, make do with what they have and prosper. You know, no matter what life deals with them, they're able to take it on 100%, usually. And they're coming towards you. Queen of Disc, why are you there? Why are you coming towards Taurus? There's this outside environment. You know, this person may be helping you with something that was not fortunate for you. Because this, this is them, this is the main card, and this is the why. They're coming towards you. Why? Because, uh, Fortunes were torn, uh, turned on you. We remember the change in the beginning that was in reverse. So something you felt that was not fortunate for you happened. And this person may come in towards you to talk about that, to maybe even try to help you with that. Because that's the wheel of fortune in reverse. That's why they're coming. But they themselves are in the upright. So can I get another card for the Queen of Disc? And the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Taurus. Yeah, they're going to bring you some strength. They're going to bring you some strength over misfortunes. Okay? What you're fearing or you're hoping you're fearing. Okay, now this is the adjustment card. Sometimes it has to do with court proceedings. It could be that you're... Or contracts. 
could be about contracts too, you know, paperwork that you have to sign. Maybe you're fearless. Maybe you're not wanting to sign something or something. You don't want to deal with something that's illegal. So the adjustment card, why are you in reverse and why are you in the hopes and fears of Taurus? You're afraid it's a failed situation with the seven of pentacles. You don't even want to think about it. Now you get another card for the hopes and fears of Taurus. And you're wanting positive things only. You don't even want to think of the negatives, the paperwork, the legal, mumbo jumbo, and the and you don't want to think about the failures in the past. You're just looking for the positives in the future and new beginnings. Outcome. Ooh. Now this may be you. Or you may be dealing with this person. Again, it could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Like I said, this could be you in the end, in the upright, taking control. Or it could be that you're dealing with somebody else. It's an earth sign. Prince of Disc, why are you there? Or acting like an earth sign, more stable. Prince of Disc, in the outcome, in the upright, why are you there for Taurus? I see this is a very steady thing. If someone's there, you're going to hold your own, even though there's times you feel like things are hopeless. You're feeling kind of blah still, thinking about the past a little bit too much with that star card in reverse, thinking about how things didn't work out. But I see you still solid and still standing. And you use this advice card and go with emotional, <clears throat> emotional um, maturity and balance and moving forward. It's time to, you know, let's, you know, sleeping dogs lie. Don't mess with things that you don't, that are going to upset you right now. But I do think you're thinking about somebody in the past, someone that, like I said, was energetic, that was more of a fire energy. But you got people offering you things and you're just kind of putting them on hold for some reason. And I get another card for the Prince of Disc and the Star card in reverse. <clears throat> keep on losing my voice. You will find happiness. Okay? So, you got the Prince of Disc in the upright. Even though you still feel like things are a little hopeless, happiness is coming with that. So you need to get rid of that negativity type talk. You know how people say, like, uh, you know, manifest your, your what you're wanting. You know, positive things bring positive outcomes. Of course, we know that's not true. Sometimes you've got to use that magician, that manifestation. When things go wrong, you got to give it a little push. And I mean by really manifesting things in your life and going for it. And don't worry about the things that didn't work for you. Okay? Now, the final final ending energy is the Seven of uh, Swords in reverse coming out of fear on betrayal ruined so you felt it you must have felt it before or this card wouldn't be there it's in reverse it means you're coming out of it so it had to have happened for it to be in reverse reverse is when things ease up now you're letting go of those betrayals you're getting rid of that whatever felt so you stabbed you in the back so it looks like you are you're going to pull on your strength even though maybe this negative stuff did happen Maybe sneaky behavior you're, found out, you're trying to find out about sneaky behavior. Maybe you find out about it. But you're really more or less trying to make a decision and come out of feeling all worried and left out. And that's basically your goal. You know, I don't think you're going to want to accept this from the air sign just yet, as far as I know, because you're trying to get more balanced. The universe, like I said, tells you to take control of your emotions, which can be the outcome if you choose to where you regain balance and you move forward in life. And it looks like you're going to do that because you gain happiness. Even though you're thinking, you're thinking, oops, it's too good to be true. Things are fine, you know, doing well, and now they just may falter. Don't think that way, okay? So this is your reading, and I'm going to put it out there. Hopefully you can see all these cards. I'll talk to you later. Bye.